Hey everybody, this is Ashley Garner with Ashley B. Garner and Associates Real Estate Professionals at Intracoastal Realty in Wilmington, North Carolina. Today we're going to talk about uh, agency and that's kind of a technical term that relates to uh, the law and to real estate and what we're doing here is we're talking about who represents you. you know, if you're the buyer or if you're the seller, who represents you? So in the state of North Carolina, all real estate brokers are determined to represent the seller by default. So what this means is unless you as a buyer have executed or signed a document that's exclusive right to represent the buyer, which would be you, then the, the broker represents the seller or as a sub-agent of the seller. So what's this mean in real life? Say you're going out and you and your spouse are going to go look at open houses. And you go out and you look at open houses. Well, the person, the broker sitting in the open house, by default represents the seller as a sub-agent of the seller. Unless you then sign the exclusive right to represent buyer and now they become your agent. Uh, say you go to a new home community and you walk in and you talk to the on-site agent in the new home community. Same thing. That broker on the on-site uh, broker at the new home community represents the seller unless you sign the document making them your agent, your, your representative. Now an agent is, it's a legal term like I said, and so we uh, by the law and by our Realtor Code of Ethics are required to protect and promote the best interests of our client. So you have to know whose client are you. If you don't sign anything saying that you are specifically represented by a buyer's agent, then you're, this, then, then that person represents the seller and you don't have any representation. So what, are that, what does that mean? That means be careful what you say. If you're one of those buyers that walks into an open house or calls the listing agent on the telephone and wants to know about a house, everything you say, they're bound by law to tell their client who is the seller. So you see how in negotiations this could come back to be used against you, maybe not in a malicious way, but they may know more about you than you want them to know. So you want to be careful talking about money or prices or, whoa, I really love this house, and then you go in and try to negotiate. Well, the seller's already going to know that you've got the money. Financing is no problem, and you really love it, so they kind of have a leg up on you. So uh, be careful with this. We take uh, agency very seriously in our profession because, again, we're bound by the law and our code of ethics as a realtor. Uh, but you need to know what are your rights. So the best way to know is to ask. You walk into somebody and you say, hey, uh, who do you represent? Just tell me. You know, I'm new to this. I don't, I don't buy houses every day. Uh, do you represent me or do you represent the seller? And then they'll tell you and then you'll know what's going on. Uh, this is a very important thing. It it's, can be kind of technical. Uh, sometimes there's even dual agents. And so, you know, one person can represent both sides of the transaction. Um, you need to understand that too. These are things that we're experts about and we do this every day so if you have questions make sure you give us a call or send us a message and we're looking forward to the next video. Talk to you soon.